guys welcome back to the vlog i'm vlogging today again um i am at my hair appointment right now i'm towards summerland area i was like 20 minutes away my sister got her hair done by this girl um the other day i think like a week ago and it looks amazing and i needed my hair done before the wedding so i'm com coming here i'm giving it a try it's my, my first time going here it's called cody hair i'm just gonna get some more blonde balayage added um, my roots are in pretty far i still want a little bit of a root but just some more highlights throughout and just lighten it up a little bit and we should be good to go it's in a really pretty area the mountain view here is like amazing so i'm gonna show you guys a little bit when i come out but i have to go in because my appointment's in like a few minutes but i did get a starbucks beforehand I didn't eat breakfast, so I knew I was going to be starving after three hours. It takes so long when you get highlights done. I'm sure you guys know. And the kids are at my sister's house. So I'm going to get a three-hour quiet break while I get my hair done. So I figured while I'm in there, I have to get some things done on my phone. I'm going to bring in my little, what is it? My little planner, too, and write some things down that I need to do for the wedding. Okay, but I will keep you guys updated on the hair as I go along, and I will show you when I'm finished. I'm gonna get you! absolutely love it she did such a good job she was such a sweetheart like the funniest girl ever the entire time I was in there we were talking and I was just laughing the entire time so Sam you did an amazing job I'm gonna be coming back to you every time I get my hair done now yeah she was so cute the salon is adorable she was so funny and she did exactly what I wanted I have lighter pieces around my face um, we still have a little bit of depth or dimension in there it definitely has definitely brightened up a lot. I love it. I think she did so good. She took a few really good pictures um, outside too and she sent them to me so we posted those. Oh man someone just pulled up. Anyways there's something I wanted to mention before I head home. Um, I have video footage from a couple things that I wanted to turn into a vlog but I don't really have enough footage from each thing we did to like make it into a vlog if that makes sense like I didn't there's no like me talking to you guys it's just really me filming we went to um a pumpkin patch here in Vegas and we did another Halloween event and there's some really cute footage from there I'd like to turn it into a vlog but I might add it on to the end of this because I don't know how long this one's gonna be so it might just end up from here it might end up going right into that so that's why but yeah so right now I'm gonna head home um and get the kids and eat some things. I'm starving. And yeah, that's pretty much the plan for the day. So I will see you guys in a bit. And I'm gonna try to show you some of the mountains around here. It's gorgeous. Like you can always see the mountains where we are, but right here, they're like beyond amazing. I'll show you. Thanksgiving and Christmas together. I mean, Thanksgiving and Halloween. <laughs> Thanksgiving and Halloween together. Pumpkin. Yeah. Color on your paper. Look at the dessert you can get. What would you pick? Just plain vanilla ice cream with chocolate sauce on it. Oh, careful. You're going to go to high chairs. Want water? What's your water? I don't want What? You don't need a sugar packet. Uh, uh. Yeah. 
What did you say? I got another baguette with mine. What'd you get? Tyler, here's some butter. You made a mess. You tired? Stand up against that. You're big. Oh, I'm 20. Hey, you. No, I'm 20 now. 20 what? 20 pounds. So we are at DSW because we had to exchange Kylie's shoes for a different size and get a different pair of shoes for the wedding for her. So. I beat you. I beat you. What? Is it stuck? So we're finally home. I haven't been home since 8.30 a.m. and it is now like 4, 4 o'clock. Oh, 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 you're gonna spill it. Got it? Okay. So we're about to go in the house and get some ish done. These kids are hot messes. I'm so tired. I don't know. We didn't get the best sleep last night. Um, breastfeeding update. So Liam's doing so well without it. Um, he still goes for it once in a while when he's tired but he gives up in like two seconds and lays on me to fall asleep. Last night he fell asleep out of his bath, completely just on the couch, laid back, fall asleep. You have no idea, this kid has never fallen asleep on his own the entire his entire life. So for him to just fall asleep on his own and then for me to put him in his bed and for him to stay asleep, it just feels amazing. I feel like I have my body back in a way. I know that sounds kind of harsh for moms that believe in breastfeeding until you know, their kid is ready to wean, but personally, it was too long for me. Um, I think if the mom ends up being unhappy with it, it's time It's time to stop. He's perfectly fine without it. He likes chocolate milk. I'm trying to get him on white milk right now. Right At this moment, he doesn't like it, but I'm working on that. Um, maybe almond milk or some other kind of milk. If you have any suggestions, let me know. And he likes water, of course. Um, and I think he's eating better without it. And the main thing is sleeping better and having our daily routine, you know, workouts where I don't have to constantly stop and do that. And because it's, you know, it's just getting to be too much. So, yay for that. I'm like, it's honestly put me in such a good mood knowing that like I stuck to it and he's officially done. So, but he's fine. Okay, you ready to go inside? I am. Let's oh, one go. more fun fact. What did we have in our house yesterday? What did we find? So I don't think I mentioned this when it happened before because I don't even think I was on YouTube yet. Yeah. But we found a scorpion in our house a couple months ago. We were walking in from Costco and it was at night and I literally walked in and saw it from far away I was the second I walked in the door I saw it on the ground in the kitchen and it, I looked close at first I was like what is that looked close scorpion this big no lie this big I've never been so freaked out in my life Travis obviously killed it I called the apartment maintenance they had to come out and spray inside the apartment it's harmless to people and to kids but they said you know don't be surprised if some come out from spraying um, but it, that was after a year and a couple months of us living here before that I've never seen one so I was like okay it's freaky but it's probably rare just found one again yesterday I was walking in the laundry room barefoot and there it is a smaller one probably like this little chilling on the floor and I thought it was dead because it wasn't moving and then Travis said when he went to go kill it it moved and I heard afterwards the babies are more aggressive because they don't know how to like control their sting so if I stepped on that, oh my God, I hate thinking about it. So that was another thing that happened today. They came to spray while I was gone. I told them they can come in while I'm not home. All right, we're done. Okay, let's go home. Let's go in. So yeah, hopefully no more scorpions after the second one.